Hello, Frank Day here once again. Um, I want to do a slightly different video for you guys today. Uh, today, uh, I want to show you the proper way to use a sight protector. Now, what is a sight protector? A sight protector is, it's the name. It protects your sight from getting shot out. Some sights can be as cheap as 25 bucks and some can be real steel about 500 bucks. So the last thing you want to do is blow 100 bucks, 200 bucks on your sight for one game. These sight protectors are relatively cheap. They come between $10, $20, and they're usually Lexan glass that's either clear or amber lens. They also come on this cool flip up thing. Now, what is this flip up thing? That this allows you to have an angle on your sight protector, or if you flip it around, you can drop the sight protector, which makes no sense. And that's kind of why I'm making this video. I want to show you guys how to use a sight protector correctly. That I see it constantly, these, all these new people, they use their sight protector wrong, and the sight protector either cracks on the first shot, which it's sometimes supposed to do depending on how powerful the gun is, or they just leave it down, then they get their sight shot out, and they blow 60, 70, 80, 100 bucks on the site, and they already bought the site protector. So to test which way the site protector needs to go, I have a bunch of guns laid out with varying, varying FPSs. I want to show you what happens when a site protector gets hit and how fast. On the table, you can see laid from weakest to most powerful, I have a Colt 25 Springer, a KWA Mac 11, a ST Car 98K, and an average SSG 10. Our base that we're using today is an EMG Sharpsboro licensed Overthrown 4 that I unboxed roughly a year ago. And I have one of my old sights mounted to it and a sight protector. Now you're probably wondering where I got the sight protector. Well, you might want to stick around for the sponsors, Blue Bang Aerosol and Jackal Tactical, and they might tell you a thing or two. Great quality BBs at awesome prices. Everything from 2 O's all the way up to 4 5's. Tracer and mixed tracer BBs all the way up to 3 2 all biodegradable. Bulk pricing, free shipping, and very known operated. Swing by bluebagairsoft.com or pick them up at your local retailer. Link in the description. Now, how are you going to swing those Blue Mag BBs? Well, you may have to pick something up from Jackal Tactical. Jackal Tactical is all your airsofting needs. Everything from sniper rifles to pistols. Yes, you can get a sight protector or Jackal. All the protective equipment you may need and a never-growing used selection. Why go anywhere else? Swing by Jackal Tactical on 729 Walnut Street, Lebanon, Pennsylvania, or at their ambush location during airsoft walk-ons. Facebook link is in the description. All right, so how are we going to test this? I got a lot more land than I used to. So, we can do stuff like this now. I'm going to have this gun set up on a chair, like how it would be shouldered, about 25, 30 feet in that direction. Then I'm going to shoot it with an airsoft gun, and I'm going to have something up close so you can get a visual on the hit. For each of the FPS ranges, I'm going to do how it's supposed to be done, like this, and how it's not supposed to be done, like this. This is kind of like a science experiment. The difference between screwing around science is that you're recording it and writing it down. So that's what we're doing. The first gun up is this little Colt 25 Springer. Uh, this is low with uh, 0.25s. I'd be surprised if I can even hit that thing from here. So let's give it a shot. Hold on. All right. No, it landed short. I'm gonna bring you guys over. We're going on a trip. So the camera just died. Well, I was taking you guys over here. Can't hit anything with this. It's not really gonna matter. You can see, barely a scratch. Now, we got a KWA Mac 11 in there. All right. We have it on semi auto, so YouTube doesn't get mad. Wow. 
Well, that was disappointing. This is an AP-01. This shoots about the same as the Mac. I can't hear anything to save my life. That's how it's supposed to be done. And we got no damage. Let's go ahead and flip it around. This is the wrong way. I guess it's shired still. See, no damage, but there is a little give. Uh, that's by design. Let's go ahead and step this up. All right, this is a S&T Car 98K with a 3D print sight mount. All right. Let's see if we can crack this sight. Ooh, I just nailed that. Ooh. Let's go check it out because it looks it looks like it shattered. No, it didn't. It did exactly what it needed to do. The, that car 98 was shooting at roughly 400 FPS with .2s. So, let's flip the sight around and uh, do it the wrong way. All right, this is car 98, wrong way. I think that hit. And nothing nothing wrong with it all right we're gonna step it up to the uh, most powerful gun that we have here all right so this is the most powerful gun we have right here this is the SG 10 with or shoots about 520 FPS with 0.2 gram BBs so let's see what we can do this is on the correct way That was, that was the ticket. Now, the correct way you can see, there is a little bit of residue left by the BB. The sight is not compromised at all, or the, the scope protector, it's not compromised at all, and it did what it needed to do. So, let's put this around the wrong way and see what happens. All right, this time, wrong way. Huh? We gotta fix the target. Ooh. We did something. All right, so the second shot that we did, nailed the scope right here. There was so much force, hit the, hit the sight and went down. You can see that in the slow-mo, or in the close-up. The sight protector is not compromised at all. I think it's safe to say it doesn't really matter what side, what way you put this. So we just shot with an SG 10 a one Let, Let's get a lot closer. We're about 25 feet away-ish. So let's get point blank. That's where a lot of engagements may happen that you might get your shot sight out. Your, your shot, your sight shot out. 
can't speak today. This is the right way around from about five feet. Oh boy. Oh boy. Yeah, we just showered that thing. I guess if you get shot up close with a 500 FPS sniper, a sight protector is going to protect your sight, but it's going to kill the sight protector. Luckily, I have some extra lenses, and most sight protectors do come with extra lenses. So, let me reattach a new one, and uh, let's do the wrong way next. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. So, this is the wrong way, and the sight held, well, I hit it a little higher, and it cracked, and if that sight protector wasn't there, this sight would be shot out. I owe it to you guys, uh, we gotta destroy our sight protector. This sight protector just exploded on us again save the site but you're gonna need a new lens now I have one more round in the SG10 let's just see if this site protector can protect this site Even a broken sight protector can protect the sight. At this point, if I was to just use a sight and no sight protector, I would have blown like 200 bucks on this video. With this, I only blew like three bucks. So I mean, get a sight protector. Your sight will thank you. Anyway guys, I hope this video was some help to you. You can help me out by liking and commenting on this video, subscribing to the channel, and hitting the bell icon for the latest and greatest content. And I'll see you around guys.